everybody, it's Paige Evans and I'm so excited to share my very first layout made with my new collection of Pink Paisley called Whimsical. And this layout is featuring the specialty paper, which is a die cut page that's already been pre-cut. So you take it out of the packaging and it's got all these flowers and leaves and butterflies on it and you simply use your little fingers and bend up all of the petals and leaves and the butterfly wings and instantly you've created a super dynamic and interesting background. So this is great for people who don't have a Silhouette Cameo or a Cricut or other die cutting machines. It just comes already cut and ready to be folded and bent up to create lots of texture and dimension. So it takes me a few minutes to go around the page and bend all these up. And then once you've done that, pick a background paper. I'm using paper number five, which is all these colorful hexagons, trimming off just a little bit more than um, 12 by 12 to make it a little bit smaller to fit on the back. And then I'm going to adhere it to the back just using this double-sided tape. So yeah, I trimmed it down to about 11 and a half inches square so that none of the edges will have to be trimmed. Place the die cut background on top and I love how all those colors just peek through the petals and behind the butterfly wings and behind the leaves. All the colors make me happy. I'm using this cute photo of my daughter Jane and just gonna start embellishing a little bit more. So from the 6x6 paper pad, I'm grabbing this rainbow diagonal stripe paper to create a photo mat. And then from the four page sticker book, I'm grabbing the page pages with flowers and I'm just going to add a flower sticker to the center of all the flowers. I'm not doing the tone on tone technique, which is crazy and not the norm. Usually I put color on color, but this time I just placed a flower in the center of every flower. And I'm going to start thinking about embellishing a little bit more. So I thought about using butterfly charms on top of the butterfly charms, but they were a bit too heavy. This layout is very light and airy, and I don't know, the charms just seem to not fit, so I took them off. Instead, I'm going to adhere the photo onto that pattern paper that I previously trimmed, tuck it into that space right there, and the title is going to be Happy. This is from the chipboard stickers, and I added a puffy flower sticker behind. Now what I'm going to do is use my sewing machine and machine stitch through all of the flowers, down, uh, down through all the butterflies, across all of the flowers and leaves. This is going to add more texture and interest to the background. And then I'm going to trim all of the edges or all of the thread ends so it's a little bit cleaner. Throughout making this layout, I did bend up the flower petals and leaves a little bit more just in case they got smushed. And I'm going to use a whole bunch of rub-ons on this layout. So in the Whimsical collection, there is a package of rub-ons. It's got two sheets, a lot of sentiments, a lot of like stitching icons, so crosses and other borders that mach sewing machines can make. And I'm not applying them yet. I'm kind of just trying to figure out where they should go. All of these sentiments, they go pretty well with this photo. You are the best. You make me smile. Embrace the good things. Enjoy the moment. So just cutting out all these sentiments, trying to find empty spaces in which to place them. But again, I'm not applying them yet because I just want to make sure of the placement first. So I think I like where I have them at the moment, so I'm going to go ahead and use the popsicle stick that is included in the rub-ons and apply them. And so gently lift the protective cover off, and if there's any spot that didn't get applied, just rub over it some more with the popsicle stick until the entire thing is rubbed on. I'm going to add my journaling in this empty space right here, first writing it with a pencil and then I went over it with a blue pen eventually. There's still some empty spaces, so I'm going to try and fill them in with more rub-ons. Again, I don't apply them immediately, just want to cut them out from the packaging and place them where I think I want them to go, and then sit back and look it over, make sure I like the placement. So I love all these little extra borders and cross stitches. They fit perfectly almost anywhere. They're so tiny, 
that they can just fit in all of these gaps and open spaces. So I think I like where these things are, I'm going to apply them with the popsicle stick. This is a scalloped colorful border sticker from the sticker book and I'm going to edge the left side of the photo. I've trimmed a little strip of the rainbow paper from the 6x6 paper pad which also has gold foiling accents, tucking it in between some layers, adding another rub on. This one says grateful and it's got a little flower. What else? Coming in with some puffy stickers. Flower puffy sticker, a cloud puffy sticker. There's a few cloud puffy stickers, so I'll add them here and there. Again, just trying to fill in the white space, but also trying not to use things that will, again, make it too heavy and draw attention. This is another rub-on, a scalloped border rub-on sticker, or not sticker, but scalloped border rub-on. So I'm going to apply it to the top edge of the photo. A couple more rub-ons. There's a few more spaces that are white and empty and need some things. So I'll come in with some stickers, more puffy stickers, cardstock stickers, moving things around till I'm happy with the placement. Almost done. This pink cloud sticker is nice and light and airy, so I think it fits. A mint cloud sticker, a blue, that's a puffy cloud sticker, but I'm gonna put it down there next to the butterfly. And a leaf puffy sticker. I think that about wraps it up. Yep, there we go. So I hope you are inspired to check out this 12 by 12 specialty paper, especially if you don't own a die cut machine. This is perfect to help you get that same look and it's got lots of dimension and texture and pops of color. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again soon.